you who I am. My name is Mrs. Walgreens. Now, why am I saying that? that I know that's a, that's a shameless plug. I've just gone national with Walgreens. You can clap. and corporate con sponsors, and we thank them for their support. Your attendance here this morning exemplifies what the chamber means, and it stands for excellence, and that's why you're being honored. We also want to share with you this morning some of our initiatives, our programs that we're embarking on. She has undertaken projects to help internationally, as in the case of the Dominican Republic, and I attest to that. They do an amazing job of DR bringing the um, doctors to take care of the needy in the Dominican Republic. This energetic lady is a very proud and pleased to be involved in philanthropic and humanitarian projects, helping the Hispanic community in the United States. And I gotta tell you, Doña Lourdes, as we call her, I remember when we first started the New York Women's Chamber of Commerce, she goes way back, I think there's nobody in the Latino community that doesn't know Doña Lourdes, especially in the Dominican community. When we started the chamber and I met her and I told her what we were doing, she said, I am so proud, I am so proud of you. And she said, anything that you need, just come to us, because Inca Cola will be there to support you. And that's what they've been doing since then. Right. Is she around? I don't She's see right here. Right. She's right there? Okay. Right. Yeah. Like, can I use her? Oh my God. And I call her, we like to call her the mother. Okay? The mother of a lot of the businesses, a lot of the chambers, because she's always there. And when Inca Cola is not responding, <laughs> we know that we can go to Doña Lourdes right. and that she will make it happen. Yeah. Yeah. Mirida, you get in the Visionary Award for your vision to create Inca Cola. Today, mm -hmm. uh, uh, can we? For this very special recognition, I would also like to congratulate all the wonderful women of excellence who have been recognized this morning. On behalf of all Latinas, grandmas, mamas, daughters, and of course, on behalf of Inca Cola, our children and grandchildren, Melania, who is always with me, helping me. I humbly accept this award. Gracias mil a todos ustedes que siempre me han ayudado a realizar mis sueños de ayudar en una forma u otra a los más necesitados. Cuando seguimos los designios de nuestro corazón, ¿qué pedimos? Que Dios bendiga a nuestras familias, bendiga a nuestro pueblo, nuestro país, todas las cámaras de comercio que realizan una labor extraordinaria a través de su trabajo, su unión, porque ahí es donde está el poder y la fuerza. La unión hace la fuerza y Dios, nuestro Señor, nos da esa fuerza para mantenernos unidos y así seguir progresando. Gracias, mi always encouraging us to be out there, to be the best leaders that we can, and we really appreciate everything you do. Not just our family, uh, but all of us here in our community, our community, uh, our family in the community of New York City. We love you. It was a female influence in my life that taught me how to respect women and the power that women have and the love that you give to us. And all I can do is try my best to do what I can for women and minority-based enterprises because I have a woman, another woman in my life who's my daughter. And I want her 
to excel, and I want nothing but the best for her, and that's what we all do. Thank you so much. Experiences and insights with other firms. Um, NBI has made it our mission over the past few years to really expand the firms, the NWBE firms that we award contracts to. Um, we have even greater plans scheduled for 2012, um, and I look very much forward to helping out in that role. Hispanic owned businesses, New York is one of our most dynamic regions. It is a privilege to see so many of the chambers, the chamber leaders, the chamber presidents here this morning, represented by the regional chair, Ms. Elizabeth Berman. Can all the chamber leaders please stand and be recognized, please? It is a privilege to represent you, but it is an honor to call you my friends. You know, last but not least, I am accompanied by two very special people in my life that I'd be remiss if I didn't mention. Yes. And that is my sister, who has been the wind beneath my wings. say that um, this is very, very, very special for me. My daughter and I were just talking about it this morning. And she reminded me something I had told her a while back. And that is that life is not about how many breaths that you take, but about how many moments take your breath away. That's right. Yes. You see, 15 years ago, a little girl, or I should say a young girl, moved from Texas to a place called New York City. It was her first job out of college. She'd never been to New York, but for the interview. But she thought, you know, if she's gonna make it anywhere in life, it's gonna be in New York City. And three blocks away from here, on 40 Fulton, she started what was to be her career. That young woman was me. Today you have taken my breath away, three blocks from the literally the place that I started my career in a city that is so meaningful to me and with an organization that is so respected. Thank you. The company was founded by my grandparents, both my grandmother and my grandfather, and so I've had a track record of wonderful women that have shown me how to be a lady and how to take care of business. So I thank you all for that. Additionally, I say to the corporations out here, continue to create opportunities for women-owned and minority-owned businesses to go to work and to do business. Because as long as those opportunities are out there, we're going to kick the doors open six inch heels and show that we're going to take care of it. Thank you. To achieve my goal, what I, what I have learned here is without effective community skills, the communication skills and consistency, nothing can be accomplished. I was not have these skills. I really needed to learn and practice. Uh, for example, I was so afraid of English, speaking English in front of Americans about business. And I hope, I hope you know that we paved the way because they wouldn't let us stand on a job site way back in 79 and 80, which is why we organized which is why I took the opportunity, thanks to the U.S. government, who was going to back women and minorities, and formed my own steel erection firm. 
Not quite the usual thing that one does, but my dad had been in the business, he'd been in the steel fabricating business, and it seemed a way to go. Even though he told me, little girl, this business is not for girls. I didn't listen to him, I went into the business. I went down to Local 40, and I came with my hat in my hand because I very much wanted them to be good to my company. Because without the right union guys, you weren't gonna be able to work in this city. And they said, girly, <laughs> you bring in the contracts, we'll give you the guys. And they did. And it was very, very successful. I just want to say that I have loved every minute of this industry. To me, the topping off of a building beats any opening night on Broadway. And I mean that sincerely. Sincerely. All the other corporate suppliers, university directors that are here in the room, for their advice and assistance when we just started our program, and their constant support to work together to help minority women, veterans, and small businesses own and succeed. And we've really shown that this past year with our Corporate Alliance program. Each day I'm thankful to have the opportunity to work with these small businesses, to be part of a community of entrepreneurs who are the backbone of our country and our communities. When they ask me what I have done with my life, I will think back about the opportunities that have been afforded to me and about all the people in this room who are making a difference. In closing, I'd like to share this award with my BMY Mellon colleagues who are committed to making a difference and have helped me along the way, especially Darlene Hoffman and Jack Bain for their trust and support to allow me to do what I do. And from my coworkers and friends from around beyond my mountain who go, go above and beyond with their support and assistance, I would not be able to do what I do without them. So thank you, Ronnie, Janet, Eliana, Connie, and Florence. I know everyone. And last but not least, I'd like to thank my Alison Ariel. Lawrence is my dearest. Francesca is doing events. We work so closely with them, and they're a committed partner. I don't know if you know this, Kenya, but no other organization that we partner with has certified more businesses in the city of New York. Yes. Than we And I'm like, oh my gosh, it makes your head hurt. Look, call Kenya. I, um, I, I'm known for having a really bad memory. People know that about me, so I write, take notes ferociously. I know 10 phone numbers by heart. Three of them are family, and one of them is Kenya's. <laughs> we really appreciate all the work that you all do. Um, it's an amazing partnership. Uh, I love your creativity and your ideas, and uh, our uh, conspiracies to get things done and on the uh, on the on the plate. And um, every time I talk to you and we share stories about small businesses achieving, getting that first contract, getting strides. I would also like to take this opportunity to recognize the New York Women's Chamber of Commerce and Kenya for your efforts. Um, American Express strongly supports um, what you're doing in the economic empowerment, development, advancement of, of women and minority-owned businesses. At American Express, women represent 60% of our workforce and 30% of our top executives, and that's something that we are extremely proud of. We're proud of the gender balance culture that we have and the efforts that we are undergoing to continue to make sure that women are able to advance within our organization and that they are able to succeed. Our focus is on creating a diverse workforce and an inclusive culture that really allows us to foster the innovation that's necessary for us to develop products, services, and solutions for our customers and our organization. So thank all of you for supporting American Express. I hope all of you have American Express cards. Uh, but we, we are certainly proud and, and honored to be recognized for our efforts and, and thank you to the New York Women's Chamber of Commerce.